Hello everyone. Um, for those of you that are my regular viewers, welcome back. Uh, for those of you that might be brand new to my channel, uh, because this is a, a brand new game, um, my name is Ron Heiler. I will be your host for this uh, this playthrough of Tomb Raider, which I think is 2013. It's the reboot of the Tomb Raider series. Uh, yeah, I toyed with the idea of actually doing the original Tomb Raider, um, but that's such an old game. I I, I, I don't um, I won't rule it out, but I thought I would do the the reboot. It's actually a pretty good game. Um, I really enjoyed it. I actually played this all the way through to the end, um, which is not something I do with every single game. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's pretty good if I if I finish it. So yeah. So just to just show you guys, uh, if we look at, I think it's under extras. Um, yeah. So we got a bunch of categories here. You notice everything's locked. Um, if you have played this before and for some reason you want to follow along, you actually have to go in and delete your profile to, to unlock these because these are not attached to any kind of save game. Oh, this is the credits. Uh, we don't really need to see the credits. Um, so even if you start a new game, these will, these will still be open uh, if you've previously opened them. Um, so in order to lock these all down like you were starting a brand new, never having played before game, you have to actually delete your profile. And I'll try to remember to link to a web page that shows you how to do that. It's not that hard. It's just a matter of deleting a file. Um, but it's, you know, you, you got to know where to find it. Um, it's not in um, kind of a, a real normal place. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll eventually be unlocking all those things. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Let's start a new game. Here we go. We'll create a new save. Yes, please. Uh, we'll play on normal. So here we go. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. Uh, right at the beginning of the game, Laura has a hard time with it. <laughs> that can't be good. In our darkest moments. When life flashes before us. We find something. Something that keeps us going. Pushes us. Okay, there we go. Poor Laura, she has a hard time with it in this game. That can't be good for you.
Okay. Here we are. All right. And right away, Laura's in a predicament. All right. So we're going to start swaying the... Um, Thing back and forth. Help! Got to get down. Okay. We're going to try to hit the fire. It's going to hurt. There we go. Oh, watch out for the rebar. Watch out for the rebar. Oh, oh. Ouch. I I hate when I get stabbed through the torso with rebar. All right, let's pull that out. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's not good. Let's make our way out of here. Um, so while we're moving out, no, no, no. Ugh, nasty. What is this place? What happened to you? That uh, can't be good. So I'll tell you guys um, if we have a minute Don't. that um, I actually agonized quite a bit over which game we were going to replace the last game with. Um, we ended DDO, Dungeons and Dragons Online, sooner than I wanted to. Um, but when I decided that game was over, um, it I actually had three different games that I was really waffling back and forth on which I was going to play. Um, and this was one of them. Damn it. So here we, we'll go with the left button to examine the environment. It gives us. Um, like survival instinct. Okay, let's go relight our torch. Um, the other two games that I wanted to play, I will probably play eventually. I, I think I will do on this channel. Um, but this one won by a narrow margin. Uh, that's a red barrel. Oh, yeah. Red barrels usually mean explosion. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Careful, Laura. Careful. Hey! Hey! Get off of me! Yeah, get off of me! Get... Get... I'm not gonna come back, are you? Are you insane? You're all grabbing me and stuff. Okay, Laura. Come on, let's go. Ooh, she's all dirty and bloody and stuff. That's pretty claustrophobic. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I think I will do those other two games at some point. Uh, the next time I have an open slot, I'll do one of them. I won't say what they are, but... It was a it was a close call as to which game I was going to play. I picked this one um, because it is a good game, uh, as are the other two that I was going to play. But this one's a little more open worldy than than uh, than the other ones were, so. Is this? Okay. So we can examine the environment. We've got stuff floating down the river. Oh, this stuff's actually the tide. Set it on fire. 
think, um, it's taking too long. I think it'll just go out. Oh, lots of stuff on fire. As soon as it hits that waterfall. Yeah. So I think we need to go through there. Um, I will say, guys, that I, I have played this all the way through before. Florida doesn't want to go up there. Um, okay, we can burn this. But it's been a long time. Um, and I don't remember it, really. I think I played it back in 2013 when this game came out. Um, I did play a little bit just to see how viable this game would be for a playthrough. Um, so I so I have played through the first couple of levels. What's going on here? I thought I burned this. Maybe I need to burn it. Burn this. There you go. Okay, we've got some sort of barrier here in the river. That's cool. Now. I think, uh, what do we need to do here? If I jump on this thing, let's everything by. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, I see. We're supposed to dump stuff in there, I think. Okay. Let's get some stuff piled up. There we go. That looks good. And then let's dump it up. There we go, now we got it. Now it should drop into the box. Very cool. Okay, okay. So then... Um, yeah, if we light it on fire, and then we push the thing, I get to pass the waterfall and over to the red barrels. Yeah, which frees our path. Uh, uh oh. The only problem with that is I think I destabilized the cave. Uh, yeah. Yes, we did. Go, Laura. Oh. Uh, um, that's okay. Don't hit the- don't- don't hit the branches. Um, okay. Let's run. This is why you don't set off explosions underground in caves. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, get off of me. Get- 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 uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I, uh, that's, that's not good. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop doing that. There goes my torch. Okay, we gotta run up the cliff, or run up the, the path. Uh-oh. Gotta love these QTE things. Go, Laura. Go, Laura. Oh, here comes another one. Okay. Um. Come on, Laura. Out you go. Out you go. What are you doing? Oh, you're all dirty and stuff. Jeez.
Okay, there you go. Cinematic. And we're back in control. Alright. So don't worry guys, that, that kind of QTE thing towards the beginning right there, that's not indicative of the game. We won't have a whole lot of those. Um, they come al along occasionally, but for the most part, um, that's not the kind of game this is. Okay, we got some new stuff in the, in the bonus menu. Or the extras menu. Alright, so we've got our first uh, kind of task is to search for, for other survivors. Okay, take it slow. Alright, Laura's first introduction to kind of balancing on logs and whatnot. This first one's kind of, you know, tense and tricky. After a while, she gets to do this in her sleep. She's learning. All right. We'll bounce up here. She's remarkably spry for having been stabbed through the torso with a piece of rebar. Although you can tell she's holding her side, so of course that makes it all better. Looks like a World War II plane. Okay, we got some jumping puzzle to go. Okay. <laughs> Plane's falling apart behind her. Come on! Come on! Can jump across. Oh hey, hold on. Hold on. Come on, Laura. Hey, careful. Watch out. Yes. Here we go. We got 100 experience points. Um, did we fall down? Where's the rest of the plane? I don't know. So we should be coming up on our first camp, right up here, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit, a little further down. A little more um, tutorial to go, I guess. Sam's pack. Okay. We found some stuff. Sam! They must have come this way. Okay, we got a new new gear, two-way radio. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wait, Laura. Oh, oh. That, that's not... You can't be falling down like that. That's gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's all fun and games until somebody gets stabbed through the torso with rebar. Okay, yeah, check it out, guys. So you see that thing hanging off the tree? That's a collectible in this area. Uh, we can't get to it yet, but we'll, we'll shortly. We'll just make sure we remember that it's there.
where it seems cold. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Okay, we have fire. All right. Well, ah, uh, we're going to get some backstory now, I think. world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years' experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. Don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Ooh, some tension. Tension among the crew. And look where it got you, Laura. Look where it got you. I can't just sit here. Okay. We're on to, to find a, something to eat. We got a new unlockable. That's cool. We'll uh, go through those at the end of the episode. All right, let's take a look at our survival. Or, um, yeah, survival vision. I don't know what you call that. Um, I think. Oh dear. 
So let's see, do we have a map yet? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so there's the camp. Um, so this whole bit before this is just where we came up. That's the plane. Um, that's pretty much inaccessible at this point. We can't go back up here now. Uh, so this is really the first major area. So there's our goal. Um, so you can see we've got three camps in this area, five documents, three relics, five GPS caches, um, a tomb, treasure map, and ten ghost hunters. Ghost hunter is that thing that we saw on the tree. That's what that is. Um, and if you look up there, you see that flashing thing up there. So um, we oh can actually. Oh God! What's going on here? Wait, I can use that bow. Okay, yeah, let's do the bow thing first. Um, I was gonna go get that that flashing bit. So we got some arrows here. But let's go get this bow. That's a critical thing, piece of equipment for Laura. Whoa, careful, careful, old tree. All right, Laura. Grab the bow. You can do it. Nope. Gotta wait till he swings over. Grab it, grab it. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh. You, sorry, dude. There we go. We got a makeshift longbow. New piece of equipment. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Okay, collect meat from the deer. All right, we'll do that in just a second. Uh, before I do that, though, let's just run over deer. Wait, did I just see arrows? Yeah, let's grab those arrows. There we go. Um, I think it's over here. Was that lying? I can't. Uh, I'm kind of. I've, I got myself turned around. There we go. Just more arrows. Grab some more arrows. If we go up here, we can hit that little flashy thing that we saw. I think we can. I thought we could. Yeah, it's up here. <laughs> Somewhere up here. There it is. So this. Uh, hang on, let's grab that. I wonder if we... There we go. Some kind of container. Who left these behind? There's our GPS cache. Um, and it's just a collectible. It doesn't really do anything. Except, you know, we get experience points for... for collecting them. Alright, we need to kill a deer. So let's see here. Um, oh, see, there's one of our, there's one of our thingies. So let's shoot it. So we just unlocked the challenge. Uh, complete for XP. One of ten destroyed. So you got to keep on a lookout for them. They're around. Um, although, let's see. Here's a book. It, it happened again. Private Koske. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools. They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. Okay. So there you go. Uh, one of six wartime intelligence found uh, from the diary of a soldier. He mentions Oni, demons from Japanese folklore. What could it really have been? Okay, so you see here, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can collect. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go. Okay, so starting with Ancient Scrolls, um, Endurance Officers, uh, Laura's Journals, there's 10 of those, uh, Confessions of a Solari, 
Diaries of a Madman, uh, Wartime Intelligence, so we found one of those, um, The Endurance Crew, and um, GPS Secrets. Okay. So again, there's the map. Um, so that's all we've unlocked. There's, there's various things here, but uh, for right now, that's all we've unlocked. Um, oh, we've got gear. Okay, sorry. Yeah, there's there's gear related to our bow. Um, so yeah. All right, that book should fade out. Um, as I was about to say before I, was, I interrupted myself, um, there's various stuff here. We won't be able to get all of it the first time through, but there's no worries. You can go back and forth between levels. Like I said, it is a very a fairly open world game. Let's see, we need to shoot a deer. Sorry, deer dude. Let's see if I can get you. Gotcha. Okay. So this is basically Laura learning how to survive. All right. We've got food, we've got a skill point. Um, so if we hit the left button, the... All right, Laura. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Okay. Before they interrupted me, sorry. So you see the, the light over there? That tells you where your next objective is. Um, she wants to get back to the camp so we can spend our skill point that we just picked up. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look around and see if we can see any totems. I don't see any. Um, there was that... Let's see. Where are we going? There was that one totem that we passed. Um, oh, there's some arrows. We'll take that. Thank you. Um... Bushes. It's good for a small amount of experience points. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think we want to go up this way. Yeah. Okay, we do want to watch for those totems if we can. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, we won't be able to get everything in the first time through this level. Um, some of it requires equipment that we don't yet have, I think. So we'll, we'll be coming back and forth a little bit. So I'll head up here. Um, if we can, I'm not sure if we're gonna get, yeah, we'll go past the camp. Cause I wanna get that one that's back here. That one totem that we saw. So let's go grab that before we hit the camp. There it is right there. There we are. So let's just see here. Um, so this is our map. This is our skills. Okay, yeah, so there's our skills. Um, this is our gear, and this is our relic list. That's, uh, this is what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so yeah, we've got um, relics. So there's 42 relics. There's also the documents. So there's a difference between the two. Um, so have we unlocked everything? I think that we have, yeah. So yeah, that's everything that we can we can see through the menus. So let's head back to the camp and we'll spend that skill point. Alright, so skills. Spend skill points in the skill menu to upgrade abilities. Okay, so we've got two sets right now. We've got Hunter... Oh, and I'm oh, sorry, we've got Survivor and Hunter. So at, at the moment, we can either do um, you can do Animal Instincts, Survivalist, 
advanced salvaging, bone collector, or arrow retrieval. The rest of these are locked for the moment. And in the hunter, we've only got two. We've got steady shot and ammo capacity. Um, let's see, bone collector, uh, extra salvage, extra salvage. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with um, more time to aim shots. I think I'm gonna go with ammo capacity. Um, carry more ammunition. So let's do that. Increases total extra ammunition you can carry for all weapons. Cool. So there you go. Um, we have now spent our skill point. Um, so there you go. This is kind of the um, the outside menu. So you, there's skill points, and then there's two other things which are not available yet. We'll, we'll unlock those in a little this while. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth, Lara. you're alive. Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are uh, you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. All right, there you go. There must be a hell of a battery in that radio because it stays on for pretty much the entire game, several hours of gameplay. So, <laughs> all right. Um. Music. Yes. Music. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Okay, you notice that door is open now. So let's take a quick look at the map. Um, there's a document over here. Oh, that's the one we found. Um, yeah, so we found the GPS cache in this document. That's the two things that we found. Um, you can see this is a, f you know, a fairly large area. Um, maybe you want to take a quick look around before we head downstairs. See if there's anything else to find that I can get to at the moment. Um, we do want to look for totems again. Not that I'm seeing any. Okay, this is over by the truck. Um, Useful this way. I see arrows over there. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean we can get to them. Oh, I guess we can. We hop up this wall. I should be able to carry extra arrows. More than I could before. Hey, dear. Um. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at there. Down you come. Down you come. Uh, you do get a certain amount of experience points for killing animals. Um, and even salvage later on. Salvage right now, uh, I realize you guys don't know what that does, but we need a fair amount of salvage in this game to ultimately upgrade our weapons. Um, now our primary source of salvage is not going to be animals. That's at, at best they they provide just a little bit, um, and they may not provide any. Good night. Oh no! Don't move. Oh, you bastard! Oh damn you! Wait, where's my run button? Come here. I know you're wounded. There 
There we go. Give me my arrows back. Uh, yeah, we're just getting experience points from that from the animals at the moment. Um, later on, they will provide salvage. All right. Um, I think we're good for right now. Um, let's see. I don't see any more totems at the moment. Let's see, where did the where's, where's that we're supposed to be going? I'm going the wrong direction. It's easy to get turned around in this area. Okay, um, I think we'll head down here, and when we get to the, maybe the next area, we'll start wrapping it up. This could be a way through. Damn it. Well, no way to go now except for down. So let's head on down, Laura. And we'll drop. Okay. What are these markings? All right, we've got some some cool looking markings. Careful there, Laura. Oh, we got something here. Let's open this up. This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. Okay, so certain relics, um, you'll see it's got the magnifying glass. If you rotate there and look around. There are white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. There you go. You might get some extra information out of it, which I think gives you extra um, experience points. So there you go. We got a, a new Hanya mask, one of three Noah masks found. So very cool. Um, got a box here. So we can't get through that door. Okay, so yeah, we can light this on fire. Open ourselves up a path through here. And there we go, we got ourselves a Pryax, new piece of equipment. Very nice. Um, let's see if we can shut this off. I guess not. Okay. This is kind of the tutorial on prying doors open. Totally unnecessary because there's a path right there, but absolutely, absolutely necessary right here. So let's pop that door open. And let's continue on. Okay, let's take a quick look. Um... So we're still in the same general area. Uh, looks like this area kind of goes through, at least through here. So we're still in the coastal forest. Um, the reason that's important is because, you know, the, the collectibles and stuff changes when you get into new areas. All right. Okay. All right, let's climb on out. All right, we found ourselves the outside world again. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. 
Sounds like Sam's up here. Let's go check it out. I don't know if I trust anybody. Somebody's already tried to kill me. Stabbed me with rebar. Laura, you made it. Sam. Oh, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the sun. Right, him ago. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it More or background not, story. a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. The legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But what happened to you? Uh oh, we're falling asleep. That, that's gotta hurt. Okay, quick, quick, uh, QT event coming up here, guys. Get out of here, fool. Come on, then. Anybody else? Huh? 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 I see you over there. No, you don't. That's right. Come on. Anybody else? Let's go. I'm standing here. Well, I'm sitting here in the bear trap, anyway. That's right. 110 XP. They're both gone. You can't shoot me go one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Let uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You're gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. Okay. Now I've been stabbed with rebar and I got my foot stuck in a bear trap. 
This is not going well. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Not so bad. Okay, guys. Um, we found a new camp. Um, what are we doing? We're sitting... Yeah, okay. We're sitting probably about as far as I want to go. How do I start? Okay. This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle, east of Japan. This place is incredible. I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. We weren't the first, and I know we're not alone. Something isn't right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find this. All right, there you go. Uh, we just hit the first of Laura's journal entries. Um, let's see, I was trying to save the game, but I don't know that there is actually a save function. <laughs> It's just a matter of your last checkpoint. Um, I think that saves it just by hitting the base camp. Um, pretty sure. So yeah, we should be good. Um, there's a book. Okay, guys, I think we'll stop here. Um, so let's back out to the if I remember how to do it uh, exit to main menu okay any progress since the last autosaver campsite will be lost yes the last campsite so we, we saved so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the um, the bonus menu and we'll open up um, anything we've unlocked the extras menu so let's take a look at any concept. Uh, we haven't, doesn't look like we've un unlocked any characters, but we have unlocked some stuff on the environment. So let's take a look. So the Endurance Expedition leaving port, uh, orthographic detail of the Endurance, and then orthographic detail of stern and bow of the Endurance. So there you go. Uh, Scavenger's Den, let's take a look at that. Altair to Amaratsu, Amatur, Amaterasu. Um, Solari Ritual of Sacrifice. We passed, passed that. Um, captured in the Scavenger's Den. Solari Graffiti. And Discovering the Horrors of the Scavenger's Den. So we've unlocked all that. Um, no character unlocks. Let's see. Let's see if we've unlocked any character models. We have. We've unlocked uh, Innocent Laura. So let's take a look at Laura. This is before she gets all beat up. So there she is. Very nice. Zoom in. Let's see. There we go. Zoom in on Laura. Pretty good. This is before she gets stabbed through the torso with, <laughs> with the rebar. <laughs> Island inhabitants. We don't have any galleries for that. Um, so we're done there. Uh, and that's it. Okay, guys, that's it. We will stop here, and we will pick this back up in the next next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that episode, and I hope you enjoy this series. I think I will. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.